Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I want to talk more about Dota Auto Chess, Dota Overlords, Underlords, some other lords, and then <laughs> Team Fight Tactics. Insert Auto Chess game number here. This is our fourth video in a series of tutorial videos where we kind of go over how to play this game and how to get started. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, I've done three prior to this one. A very basic video and then we did a, a video on loot rounds items and passives and the third video we did was on buying and selling and, and scouting now this video here is going to be pretty advanced in in nature uh, it's going to start to dabble into meta and what's the going strats going around in different auto chess games and we're going to be talking about economy economy and economy is going to consist of managing your gold and when to buy and sell and motivational motivational things that will make you buy motivational things that will make you sell uh motivational things that will make you go for win streaks or lose streaks so interest is the big deal here uh in auto chess depending what's going on you get bonus gold for every 10 gold that you own now write this down <laughs> for every 10 gold that you have in your possession you will earn one you will earn one gold interest and that maxes out at plus 5 so the going meta and what you're going to be hearing on every auto chess video out there is that your goal is to get an economy of 50 gold 50 or more gold you want to be able to hang on to 50 gold all the time uh, towards the middle and late game so that you can earn the maximum amount of interest so that's when people when people say interest in this game that's what they're talking about you can also earn bonus gold by winning a match you get plus one gold by, by just simply winning a match but you also earn gold by having win streaks and lose streaks this is a very interesting part of auto chess because it leads to some interesting strategies naturally the, the thing that you want to happen is a win streak. For every three to five rounds, you earn one gold. So if you win three to five rounds, you earn one gold. And these are the numbers as of uh, Dota Auto Chess. So it may differ in uh, Do uh, Underlords, Dota Underlords, and probably in Team Fight Tactics, there may be some different calculations here. So if you have a win streak or a lose streak of three to five rounds, you earn plus one gold bonus. If you have a win streak or a lose streak of six to eight rounds, you earn plus two gold. And if you have a win or loss streak of nine plus rounds, you earn plus three gold. So they show you these screens between rounds on uh, in Dota Underlords. And Auto Chess actually has a much more inf informative screen if you hover over your money. It shows you all the things and all the money that will be calculated. And it gives you a good rundown. So you want to have various strats you want to go on a win streak you want to go on a lose streak or there's a third option called an open fort where you don't field any units and you just try to build up your economy to 50 as quickly as possible again this is dabbling into many many different types of metas out there and strategies that people are forming it's really cool to get into this is something that i'm currently struggling with as a player i'm trying to wrap my my arms around the whole economy idea if you see me play you notice that I, I don't follow these rules very well but i'm getting better at it i'm definitely getting better at it and i think this is an advanced definitely an advanced topic because you talk about the idea of early game mid game and late game early game consisting of i think rounds one through ten are considered early game and then 10 plus you get into mid game and then the higher you go up you get into late game and you want to reach that 50 gold economy somewhere in the mid game so if you're struggling early uh, that's okay you may go on a lose streak to get that economy up and get your levels up and 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 purposefully purposely lose without taking too much damage it's a really fine line in all these different strategies but it's very interesting so that's how the economy works and it gives you a lot of options you can probably if you've been following my uh if you've been following my tutorials you probably see that this is a pretty big jump in difficulty and concepts uh we went from basic stuff to, to buying and selling and now we're talking about how much gold we can earn per round based on what we're doing and what our goals are for early game mid game and late game uh so this kind of changes the way you look at the game so 
when you when you consider economy you don't want to spend a lot of money early on re-rolling that i talked about that in our re-rolling uh in our uh, buying and selling and scouting video you don't want to re-roll early what you do want to do is you want to focus on strong units and you want to try to get two stars and three star units or strong units and you want to win you want to go for a win streak without spending too much money so that's the balance and that's i think that's when the addiction grabs you when you see this balance of economy and units and rng it, it brings you to the world of auto chess. This is one from one.tv. I'm going to keep this short because these videos can easily go to 30, 40 minutes, even an hour. Uh, but this is your introduction to the economy of auto chess and all that it entails and how you can manage your gold to make the best team possible. Have a good day.